iconic American image exists of a lone country doctor crossing the prairie with a horse and a buggy. North winds here are not good on this road. Robert Bazer has ridden his buggy nearly 220,000 miles. Dr. Basil arrives before the sun at the hospital in Morris. Head on in here. Gesundheit. Did they teach you UFTA yet? Where his patients today will span 87 years. I just want to take a listen to your lungs here. There's a TV camera that wants to take pictures of me with all the beautiful women in my life. Oh, together? Yeah. Oh, good. Pay attention to that hug Dr. Basil is giving. It's going to be important okay. later in the story. Back to Starbucks. But for now, snow barely melted off his cowboy boots from the first trip. More patience. Dr. Basil is driving 20 miles back to the place he started. A trip he makes two to three times a day. Good morning. Good morning. The only doctor in Starbucks. Yeah, that's good. He's 40 miles. Deep breath. And two and a half hours into his morning. The eye is dry and it's got a little infection in there. What I probably like most about him is just his dedication. Let's see how that ticker is doing. Dedication hard to find in rural Minnesota. Yeah, that's doing okay. As communities struggle constantly to find a doctor willing to settle in their towns. Okay. But for 33 years, Dr. Uh, Basil has had Starbucks back. Deep. That's me up here. Maybe it was growing up in the country, yeah, in second oldest of eight children. Yeah, dairy farm just south of Sox Center. That set his resolve and destiny. So that's me giving the, the vaccine. First came stints as a yeah. medic in Vietnam and a med student at the U of M. With my first wife. Or at least I introduced her that way still. <laughs> then Dr. Basil convinced that reluctant Twin Cities girl to join him in a town too small for a stoplight. You're not really serious, are you? It wasn't the last time he'd need his wife's blessing for his commitment to country. At the age of 56, with Starbucks Hospital on life support and months from closing, Dr. Basil took out a second mortgage on his home and built Starbucks, a new clinic. Okay, wiggle your ears. Just felt, you know, that these people deserve to have a clinic here. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, we're really fortunate. Remember when we asked you Hug. To pay attention to the hugs Dr. Basil gives, <laughs> this Award is why. The Staff Care Country Doctor of the Year Award to Dr. Basil. Country Doctor of the Year for the entire United States. If it wasn't for Dr. Basil's commitment to the community and his love of medicine, none of us would be here today. And for that, we are grateful. You wear that. What else is a town to do? At a moment well, congratulations. Yeah. like this. I know I'm in HR, but I'm going to give you a hug anyway. Okay. <laughs> Starbucks 66 year old doctor yeah. assured us. We appreciate you. Someday. You hug old people? He hopes to retire, <laughs> but not until the right doctor is in place. Oh, yeah. Oh. Folks down this country road will tell you he already is. Tell them, ladies. Keep on trucking. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Starbucks.